there's this advice for empaths out there that we should put up a wall or a mask or a screen in order to block out the energies of other people to keep us safe. What this does, though, is it drains your energy and it actually creates more work. The harder thing to do is to surrender, which means to feel the energy of the other people and let it be there and let it happen and not run from it, not fight it, not resist it, not deny it. That's the hardest thing to do. Do not deny. Do not deny anything that arises. Do not deny any energy that comes to you. Do not try to fight it. Do not fight the voices in your head. Do not resist the mental voices, the temptations, the things that shout at you, the judgmental attitudes, the voice of the devil, the demons. Do not argue. Do not go back and forth your mind. Do not try to figure things out or unravel them or analyze Instead, observe them all without getting involved and let them be. Let the energies be. Let your energy extend to others. Don't be afraid for them to feel you, to feel your sexual energy, to feel your primal aggressive energy. You are a human being. This is who you are, what you are. Don't be afraid to let people feel it. Make it a practice to stand wherever you are. Stand firm. And I mean literally stand. Stand in the middle of a public place or a classroom, whatever it is. Stand there and feel fully everything that you are feeling, all chakras. Feel firmly everything in your being. Stand firm in your light. Feel it, the rippling primal aggression, the grief, the rage, the insanity, everything that you think is too much for people, or that you think is too much to bear, too much to witness, too much to feel. Feel it all, and then feel everyone else too, and feel the exchange. Feel your primal energy radiating to others, and feel their response to you. And don't fight it, don't block it, don't be concerned about what they might think, or whether you can read their thoughts, or whether they can read yours. Don't be concerned about what's going on in your head. Feel everything fully. It is the hardest thing to do, especially as a rape survivor, trauma survivor. It's the hardest thing to do, to surrender. But it is the best thing you can ever do, and it's actually the easiest thing you can do once it gets over being the hardest thing you will ever do, because then you are free. You're afraid of reaching this peak. My whole life I've always discussed this concept of breaking free, and how I felt like there was this wall that I was banging my head against that I had to destroy to be free. I didn't realize that my whole life I've been telling myself I was a trauma victim, a rape survivor. I don't like using the word victim. You're a survivor. You survive, but it's time to thrive. And to do that, you have to stop surviving, stop fighting, and embrace, fully surrender and embrace. Your openness. To do that, you have to be fully willing to open yourself completely to feel the energies between you and others fully. And feel all of your feelings. Don't bury your anxiety. Don't try to not be anxious. Don't try to be happy. Don't try to not be sad. Feel it all. Especially in front of other people. Cry. Cry in front of other people. If you're about to cry, cry. And don't run off and hide to another room. Stand there and cry completely. If somebody offers you sympathy, open up completely to them. Cry with them. Hug them. Cry into their shoulder. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's a stranger. You'll regret it later if you don't. Give it all to them. It's okay. It's okay to open up and give and be that. Be vulnerable with people. Be yourself. Don't try to be invulnerable, especially as men. Men have problems opening up like this. Cry. Cry in front of your woman, for God's sake. Let her know you're a human being. And if she leaves you, that ain't on you, buddy. Be too much for people. Expose yourself completely. Expose yourself. Stand firm in your power. Be whatever you are. The hardest thing to do is to stand firm completely in this power. This is your power. There's power in surrender. There's not power in holding back, building retentive walls, building a castle, a kingdom of walls around you that are actually the barriers of your soul cage, the barriers of your energy. How are you going to give your energy out to the universe to manifest if you are binding your own energy in a cage if you're binding yourself in a straitjacket 
You have to be willing to feel your feelings and release and let go. Let go of the mental tripping. Let go of the trauma in your head. Let go of thinking or analyzing. Let go of your anxiety. Give it away. Give it away to the universe. Give it away to the other person. That's true intimacy. To love and trust someone enough to be able to give yourself completely to them. Just like in Fight Club. Share yourself completely. You have to be able to open your heart. Open your mind. Open your soul. Open your sadness. Open your pain. Open your anxiety. Open your fear. Open your sexuality. All these things you're uncomfortable with to feel. And you have to be able to give them away. To give. All of these things you're feeling are ways that you can give. Never be afraid or feel guilty for giving a gift of yourself and your presence and your being. This intimacy is what you have to give. It's what you have to share. 